had his skateboard before me, so I really wanted to learn how to ride so I could ride it in front of my house. Twice a week, from July through August, youngsters like Amber, and some a few years older and a little more aggressive on their boards, are hanging out at Forest Park's free skateboarding clinic. Even the parents on the sidelines are learning a few things. It took my all not to wrap him in bubble wrap from head to toe. And every time I see him like losing his balance, I, I have to hold it in and not run out there and catch him. But you know, you gotta let go and, and let them do their thing. At the clinic, skating comes in many variations, but the instructors have seen it all. Oh! Nice. Didn't even know he could kickflip. Had no idea. <laughs> Good stuff, man. What we found was like a lot of the kids that do skate a lot and can do it really push the kids that really can't do it because they all want to be on like that same level, pretty competitive. But they learn pretty quick. This is only their second day, and you can see they're riding around and stuff. I know when I was younger, I kind of had to teach myself how to skate, so having somebody older helping out would probably be a little good help. To drop in, all you have to do is press down on your front and put all the pressure on your front leg so that you could, and just lean forward so that you drop it. Because yeah. now I know how to do it. He's gonna have it by the end of the day. Definitely. We're getting closer. <laughs> yeah! Does that feel good for you guys when you see one of your students finally get it? Definitely, definitely, best feeling. I'll be doing that all day now. Seeing these kids have fun is great. You know what's really good is that nobody that. knows each other. They're, they're, they're all strangers when they first started, and we find that with the clinics, with when it's free skating, but they're all helping each other out. Eight-year-olds help, you know, the 15-year-olds help out the eight-year-olds. They're all different kids from different backgrounds, from different neighborhoods. And the kids say riding the ramps is a sensation like no other. It feels like you're floating in the air. Of course, the skaters also take a few spills. We keep it under control pretty much. They're wearing pads. I can't really get that hurt, but they're usually pretty fearless. They just fall, get right back up, and take it well. What happened over here? How'd that feel? <laughs> Not good. Not good. Are you going to get up and do it again? A few minutes. Take a breather. Naturally, there's always time for the instructors to have a little fun. We're just trying to teach kids how to skate, and they're really psyched on it. We're trying to teach them to like do the same things with their bodies as we're doing with our bodies to teach them how to skateboard more, get them more comfortable. I only know how to go my skateboard with two feet, and I know how to do like this.